Do you want to know how to merge PDFs? Have you been searching for ways to separate PDF pages? Well, today I'm going to show you one of my favorite free self publishing of book tools in this free PDF editor tutorial. So stick around. Hey, right, writers, it's Keith Wheeler here. And if you want to continue to get all the hints, tips, and tricks on how to make self publishing easier, then be sure to subscribe to the channel, smash that little bell icon so you get alerted each and every time I put out a new video. There have been numerous times that I've had a PDF file that I either want to split or maybe I want to merge with another one. And perhaps I don't have the base file that it started with, whether it's from a puzzle software system, which is the example I'm going to use today or it's one that I've purchased and I just have the PDF, but I don't have the original file it started with. Also, sometimes I'm working with a book that I've uploaded to KDP and I have the PDF file for it, but I no longer have the base document that I had originally. In any way, shape or form, you can use this online software that I found to split, merge, and do a whole bunch of other things with a PDF file. So without any further ado, let me flip the screen around and I'll show you what I'm talking about. Okay, so the first thing we're at is we're at ilovepdf.com. And again, this is a free site and you can merge PDFs, split PDFs, compress them, and a lot of other options. So I suggest when you have time, just go through and, and check this out and see all the different things you can do. But today we're gonna focus on how to split PDFs and how to combine PDFs. So what it is, I went to the puzzle creation software that I use and I downloaded three different types of Sudoku puzzles, easy, medium, and hard. So here they are here, easy, medium, and hard. Each of them have 200 pages of Sudoku and then there's 50 pages of the answers. So each one is 250 pages long. But the first thing I wanna do is I wanna split them up because I'm going to end up combining them all into one giant Sudoku book with easy, medium, and hard. And I wanna save all of the solutions for the end of the book. First thing I'm gonna do is select PDF file. I'm gonna go with the easy. And here it's opened up the entire book from page one to 250. Now I can split this file up two different ways. I can do it in ranges, which is what I'm gonna do for this particular one because I know that the first 200 pages are my Sudoku and the last 50 pages are my solutions. So for the first range, I'm gonna go from page one to page 200 and then I'm gonna add a range and I'll go from 201 to 250. And then I just click split PDF. And then now it's created the zip file. And if I just open it up, I'll see that there's 200 pages easy if I click on this these are all my puzzles and then if I click on this one these are all my solutions so I'm going to extract this because I'm going to use these PDFs in a second and there they are and now I'm going to go back the split and I want to split the medium and the hard so let's just do medium and I'm going to show you the how you can extract all and this actually breaks it down into each individual page so you can scroll through and see which ones you want if there's any you want to deselect you just click on it and you can deselect it and as you can see it changes the pages that are going to be extracted. You can also just go in here and type out the pages that you want to extract or you can go to extract all pages and then just click split PDF and it'll put each page into a separate PDF. This is really helpful if you have specific pages that you want to include but not all of them. For my purposes what I want is to go back to the split by range and I'm gonna do the same thing I did before. It's gonna be 200 and this is going to be 201 to 250. And then now I'm going to go back in here. And this is that first folder. So I'm going to I want to make these so they're easy to remember which they are. So this was the easy one. 
and then this one I'm going to extract and this one was the medium and then finally the last one we'll just call this one hard and I'll need to show that okay so now we have the folders that we need I'm gonna go over and I'm gonna show you how to merge them so we'll go to merge PDF again very simply select the PDF files and I want to start with easy and I'm just gonna grab both these files so I just hit the shift key and just selected them both click open and then now I can click add I'll go back and I'm gonna grab the mediums and I'm gonna add I'm going to grab the hard ones. Now, just imagine you can also do this with your own book. Uh, maybe you have a copyright page that you want to add in here, or a title page, or a dedication page, anything like that. You just go in and add that PDF as well. Now, as you can see, the way I have this currently set up, it's going the easy Sudoku and then the solutions, and then medium and solutions, the hard ones and solutions. That's not ideal for the way I want my book to be laid out. I want to do all of the Sudoku and then have all the solutions at the end. So all I need to do is just drag and drop. And so I've got easy, medium, hard, easy solutions, medium solutions, hard solutions. And then I select merge PDF. And here we are with the underscore merged dot PDF. You'll probably want to rename it to something that's a little bit clearer, but just to go inside it, just so you can see that it did in, in fact merge it, 750 pages, which makes sense because the three that we had were 250 each. Since they're 200 pages each, if I jump to page 201, I should get to my medium ones. There we go. And if I jump to page 401, there starts the hard one, puzzle one. And then if I jump to page 601, that should start my easy solutions. There we go. So again, the site is I Love PDF. And it's super easy to use and navigate. There's a login here, but as you saw, I did everything completely logged out. You don't even need to bother setting up an, an account if you don't want to, if you're just gonna use it every once in a while. Feel free to check it out like I said I love PDF and it's absolutely free. Speaking of free, whether you're writing your own books, busy composing the perfect book description, or simply emailing a potential manager about carrying your books in their store, you want to make sure that you're making the best impression possible. So check out this review video that I did on Grammarly and see if their free service is right for you. Or you can check out this video that YouTube says you'll absolutely enjoy. I'll see you in the next video and remember to write right.